Welcome back to Oxfordshire. We're trying to find Stella and Adrian their dream home, a converted stable or barn with high ceilings and something that's been giving Kirsty nightmares. A space for Adrian's cinema. So far, no luck. Our next house is in the idyllic village of Buckland, a half-hour drive from Oxford. Also on sale in the village is Buckland Manor. So if Adrian had four and a half million pounds to spare, he could guarantee that housing a cinema would be the least of his worries. But he might not need to stretch that far, as nearby is the stable conversion being sold privately by the vendors for £400,000. It's important when there is no estate agent to do your own research and make sure the right price is being asked. And remember, you'll be negotiating face to face. Oh, it's a nice big door. <laughs> Lovely, isn't it? Yeah. Double it high. Needs... <laughs> this is the dining hall. Um, kitchen there. Now, every time we've talked about something, the cinema has come up as such an important thing. So whenever we come to something, we immediately look for the space. Now here, this wall is in excess of 10 feet and is recessed from the door. So we felt that you could have a speaker there and a speaker there at a pinch, slightly interfering with the staircase. But is it possible? There's certainly enough room there. If we were to move the radiator to get the speakers and the screen, there's, there's no doubt about that. It does, does have potential, definitely. Yeah, it's got that kind of rustic feel. I mean, the slate floor, gorgeous. Mm -hmm. You know, the use of pine, the very plain colours. It's got that kind of minimalist, it's not she -she. Yeah, no, not it's, at all. It's very nice. Nice? It's stunning. Check out the standard of the craftsmanship in the kitchen. But upstairs, there's another piece of wood that might not be so attractive. We were concerned that this beam might be a problem, but actually you can get under it, and I'm sure Adrian can duck. They've lowered the floor here, which means the ceiling in the sitting room has been lowered, otherwise this beam would be at waist height. Yeah, definitely yeah. gives it character, you can't deny that. Now, see what you make of this, Adrian. This is nice. Big enough for you? Yep, I don't think I'm going to have trouble with uh, hitting my head on the <laughs> ceiling in this place. It's very rare, in most mill or barn or stable conversions, because they weren't designed as two-storey buildings, you do have that sense of the eaves making you a bit claustrophobic. But this one, the point at which the, the walls start to slope is very high. It's almost as high as you are. Yep. The storage space in, in this room is fantastic. Some of that's to do with, with the height of the eaves. Space is also not a problem in the ensuite bathroom, and Stella and Adrian are starting to imagine themselves living here but there's still one room to go. <laughs> you can see, can't you, where the ceiling has been lowered to accommodate that beam upstairs that we talked about earlier. You're really just stooping as you come in once you're in the body of the room. That's true. I mean, there's, there's plenty of space here. I mean, it's a decent-sized room. Yeah, yeah, it's a very, very nice room. Yeah, and it leads directly onto the garden. We were very excited about the house. Were we right? There is an <laughs> awful lot about it that's nice. I think the elements for me are good. The kitchen's great. The surroundings, location are fantastic. It's lovely. It's, it's one we're going to have to have a, a good think about. Aha! We're on to something good here. But is it perfect enough to get them to part with their top budget of £400,000? All across the nation, stable and barn conversions are increasingly fashionable and they can be very good investments. But remember, these type of properties weren't originally built for human habitation. Windows in strange places and higgledy-piggledy floors, are they charming or inconvenient? If you're buying a barn to convert yourself, one of the biggest hurdles will be planning permission. Check with the council if you're likely to get it before you fork out on a survey. What should you look out for when buying a converted barn or stable? Find out at www.channel4.com forward slash four homes. Our final property is in Kidlington, a bigger village closer to Oxford's city centre. It's a semi-detached stone barn in a private development shared with ten other conversions. With a guide price of £345,000, this house is right on budget. Come in, come in. Mind your head on the lights, boys and girls. Now, this is the kitchen in here. It's not huge. This is a grade two listed barn. So you can't just go whacking down the walls whenever you feel like it. Is it big enough for you? It's just about, yeah. yeah. It's quite like the idea of having kitchen uh, diner together. So 
Yeah, not a bad space. Yeah, I don't think we'd want it any smaller than this. No, though. no. Um, but the view onto the garden's nice as well, and it makes it feel more spacious with yeah. that. So. Upstairs, there are four good-sized bedrooms and two bathrooms, and even further up, a potential loft conversion. Now, I don't think that fireplace is the original one, but it's very much in keeping with the barn feel. Mm. And what I love is the attention to detail. Do you see here? They've yeah, allowed nice. the plaster to reveal the stone around that window, and the walls are so yeah, thick. Yeah, they are thick, aren't they? I must say the view is slightly oppressive. It uh, wouldn't be my first choice, really. I've never been in one of these before. I've seen them. But look, do you see you've got your handle yep. there? I'm going to race you. Ready, steady, go. <laughs> <laughs> Come and tell me what you think of this, Adrian. Could what? it be the cinema? I think so. There's tons of space, isn't there? It's, uh... There's really wow. good head height. I thought screen down there, you could have your mates around, a couple of ranks of seats. No problem at all. Yep, screen there, seats either side. No problem with the headroom. Well, some promising signs there, but do they want to go back for a second viewing? No, I, I think it's fair to say that there's one property that just stands out um, head and shoulders above the rest. That's Buckland. Buckland, yeah. yeah. The question for us, I think, is whether we love it enough mm. to pay our top amount. My main concern is that I'd be compromising my number one. one requirement, and that's what makes it tricky. So back to Buckland, and on this second viewing, we've got to tackle any lingering doubts about a home for TV and speakers. Come on, then. Let's really try and get to grips with this. How long is it? Um, we're looking at eight foot at the front and ten foot at the back because the speakers are angled inwards. Okay. Well, there's our eight foot at the front and it's about three foot deep. Yeah, that's right. It's close, but it's workable. Yep, I think that's that's fair to say. Adrian seems unconvinced, and now Stella's worried about their own proportions. It's ever so tight, isn't it? Yes. I mean, even me when I stand under there, I just virtually touch it. It's a bit of a shame because the. Upstairs is so much nicer than the downstairs, I think. Aid, there's not a problem when you're uh, sitting on the toilet, though, is there? <laughs> you just have to be a bit careful when uh, you've finished. Look, here we are. We're sitting in what would be the cinema. I think it would make an excellent cinema. I think I'd have my popcorn machine here. You'd stand in the corner with a little flashlight selling me ice creams. I think you could make it work. I mean, I think you, you could probably get it all in here. If you can't fit cinema, in this room, then we're in trouble. We may be in trouble anyway. I didn't notice that the first time we were here. The roof may be watertight, but it's put a final dampener on the house for our couple. That's, that's, that's ugly. No, I, I understand, and we will explain that. Doesn't seem to be going terribly well at this stage, I'm afraid, no, but Kirsty's on the phone, there. seeing if there's anything else on the market. Thanks so much for it's a case of help. fingers crossed. Well, she managed to pull it off. She found another house in the fantastic rural setting of that exclusive estate we'd first visited. There was one catch, the price. At £425,000, it's £25,000 over their budget, so it has to be more than perfect. Still, we thought it was a must-see. Come in and see what you make of this. It's nice. Ah, nice room. It's a fantastic room, this, isn't yeah. it? Uh, these walls have got this wooden tongue groove panelling, which is the original kickboards from the stables. To protect the horses' hooves from kicking the brick walls. What do you think, anyway? It's a lovely room. It's certainly one of the nicest rooms we've seen, if not the nicest that yeah. springs to mind. Yeah, really, really spacious. Such a big, yeah. open area. Yeah, wide, yeah. long, <coughs> light. Now, we've got to, <laughs> we've got to, we've got to ask. <laughs> Where would you see it going? <laughs> That's, that is a good question. At last, a near perfect space for Adrian Cinema. And the, the volume of the room would be fantastic from an audio point of view. Oh. Mm. So it's, uh... That's a very good sign. We haven't heard the word fantastic from <laughs> No, before. it's. it's <laughs> I, I don't think of. Yeah, it's. Yeah. Well, this room's left Adrian speechless. Will the kitchen have the same effect? It's 
got a very open plan feel, but it's another nice. big, mm. spacious, oh, it's airy nice. kitchen. Yeah. Um, you've got the access door to the courtyard nice. yeah. um, and the two windows. Is it the kind of kitchen that you could live with? Oh, it's fantastic. Yeah, really nice. I heard a second fantastic. Yes. Yeah, that's too fantastic. If both Adrian and Stella are saying fantastic, we know we're definitely on the right track. But can the rooms upstairs live up to expectations? It's that lovely, light, spacious feel again, and it's very, very pretty. Yeah. It's very, very nice. pretty, isn't it? Yeah. Lots of character has a quite a unique feel about it. It does. Um, that feature over there. Perfect spot for a desk. So many times you go and see something, you think, OK, ignore the decor, ignore the decor. We've got to see beyond that. Mm -hmm. In this case, it's still ignore the decor, ignore the decor, because they'll probably take it yeah. with them. It's, it's very It's been well really done. nicely yeah. done. How does the room work for you storage-wise? There's a wardrobe behind you. Well, I, know, I spotted there's another couple of wardrobes in the yeah. other bedroom yeah. and storage downstairs. And there's, storage, there's no lack of storage in this house. I'd sacrifice the amount of my wardrobe, the size of my wardrobe for... Uh, Living in this house, I think. Ooh. 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 Easy, easy. <laughs> Steady on. Adrian nearly had a seizure. <laughs> Where's the prize? Where the prize? <laughs> wow, Stella's gripped, but will Adrian widen his wallet? We're going to get them out of here before they make any snap decisions and take them for a cold drink. The interior is, is superb, and I think after a lot of searching, we've actually found somewhere with a nicer interior overall than our current place and yeah. mm -hmm. I think another look I mean yes we had a long time to look at it today but I think it wouldn't hurt to go back it again they're quite right to want to go back no matter how much you like a place it's not wise to make an offer on impulse a second viewing allows you to assess the house from a more practical point of view and on the price if you do decide to go ahead then call Kirsty and I and, and we can help with the negotiation Adrian and Stella went back for a second view and put in a cheeky opening offer. Obviously they wouldn't accept 385 to start off with um, and they asked if we could go somewhere halfway between that and 400 and we're playing hardball at the moment but so we're up to 390 and we'll see where we go from there. Fingers crossed. Indeed. But in the end they bottled out. At nearly 400,000 pounds it was just too much.